and the AP to spare. Helps if I unmute my mic. <laughs> hello, guys. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, I... Dude. I'm very annoyed with myself as I just drop everything off my desk. I take all of the games that I play on stream, right? So I, I have, like, one box of PS2 games that I still need to play on stream. That I haven't played on stream or made a video of or done anything with, right? And then whenever I play a game on stream, I take it out and I put it somewhere else. And I keep all of those games together. So that everything, you know, so that everything is like nice and together. For whatever reason, I don't know what happened. I messed up this time and uh, <laughs> it wasn't there. The most annoying part is, you know what games I did see? I saw God of War over there. I saw Sly, or not Sly Cooper. Um, I saw uh, Spyro over there. I saw Metal Gear Solid 2. Like every other game that was possible to be picked, found it, no problem. Sly Cooper could not find it for the freaking life of me, man. <laughs> but I did end up finding it. So we're good. We're good. We got it. <laughs> Sorry that took like 10, 15 minutes, man. That should not have taken so long. But oh, well, at least we got into it. Um, do we want to start over or do we want to... Or do we want to continue our save? If we continue our save, I'm going to have to reset and copy the save over because um i switch swap memory cards you didn't get to see this one so you want to start over i mean i'm fine with that we didn't get super far anyways whenever we we played it originally for the uh for the gauntlet so it's not that big of a deal to me to do so just have to switch my sound that i hear doesn't change anything for you guys but Pretty good? Pretty good? Okay, cool. Uh, make sure everything is good. So we got our music on. Speaker set to stereo. Do we have stereo mono? Okay. Center screen? I mean, looks good enough to me. Okay, new game. Let's freaking go, man. Sly! Come in! Sly! Do you read me? Yeah, I read you. Loud and very loud sorry i'm a little nervous trying to break into police headquarters does that get over it bentley you're safe in the van i'm the thief here i've got to steal that file from inspector carmelita fox well count on me to be your eyes and ears buddy got their security system totally scoped to get inside you're gonna have to go through that air vent all right i'm going in and don't forget you got me at the wheel sly all you gotta do is grab the file and get back to the van. We'll do the rest. Just keep that engine running, Murray. I'll be down in no time. All right. So, yeah, this is the intro to the game. Uh, I freaking love Sly Cooper. It's one of the first games for PS2 I ever owned. Um, I, If I remember correctly, my mother got it for me with the ps2 yeah, like i, I got I'm both of them at the things. same time must be vertigo or something can you see those crazy blue lights really i've read about this master raccoon thieves are able to sense thieving opportunities which manifest themselves as unexplainable blue auras uh, according to my research all you have to do is get near mm -hmm. them and hold down the circle button you don't say and you should perform a super sneaky master uh -huh. thief move Okay, super sneaky master thief move. Got it. I can handle it. Thank you. Uh, anyways, if I remember correctly, my mother bought me this to go with my PS2 whenever I got it. And uh, she forgot to get me a memory card. I know I've told the, the story before on stream. But, like, we didn't have a PS1. The family did. But, like, uh, the step family did. But me, I did not. Like, we were a Nintendo household before that, right? I had a Nintendo... Uh, we would get a Nintendo 64 all the time that we would rent. Um, so, like, she... I don't think she realized that memory cards were really a thing that you needed, right? Um, so she didn't even think about it. And I didn't think about it until I started playing. And then realized that I couldn't save the game. <laughs> and it was, it was terrible. It sucked. But, uh, yeah, we got there. We got there eventually. Uh, up equals look down. Uh, we can't, we can't turn. Okay. I was hoping we could, we could swap, like, left to go left. 
and right to go right like the the left and right not even the up and down just the the left and right but because i like i like in platformers like 3d adventure games whenever you turn the camera like push right on the right stick i like for you to turn right um, and then whenever you push left on the left stick for your character to, to move to the left. But anyways, not that big of a deal. Your first game was Summon or 2, Chocobo? That's, uh... Did you enjoy it? <laughs> I've played a little bit of Summon or 2 on stream, and it's okay. And if I had it at the time, I probably would have enjoyed it a fair bit more. But, like, playing it nowadays, it's... I don't know. It's it's okay. I'll say that much about it. Then Babs Bunny. I don't even know what that game. Are you still talking about games? Because I I don't even know what that game is to be honest. What sucked not having a PS2? Or I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I mean that sucked too. No, uh, not having a memory card for my PS2 when I first got it. You never beat it. Let's leave it at that. Yeah, yeah. I can uh, I can see why. Honestly, I'm not that surprised. I do want to go back and give it, like, a little bit more of a try at some point. Like, get a little bit deeper into it and see how it goes. But from what I played of it, I don't think I missed out on much <laughs> with the Summoner 2 thing. I missed a message about furries. Oh, <laughs> my bad. I went the wrong direction. Oh, well. Tis fine. Tis fine. Star Wars Episode 3. I don't even think I owned any of the Star Wars games growing up. Because I wasn't really a Star Wars fan. I'm still not a huge Star Wars fan. Scooby-Doo for you. I'm not surprised, Rue. Yeah, I'm <laughs> not surprised one bit. I don't think I owned a, a Scooby-Doo game either for, for a long time. I don't know if you saw it on the list, Rue, or, or whenever I mentioned it. But I do actually have a Scooby-Doo game for the PS2 now. I don't remember which one exactly, but I do own one now. Yeah, you did. Okay, yeah, you must not have looked at the list in a while or, or been here. Like I said, because I did mention it one day after I got it. But uh, I forget which one it is, but it, it looks pretty decent. I feel like it's Scooby-Doo and the something mask or something. I don't know. And I was going to give it to you as a little token of my... Hey, you know, that bazooka really brings out the color of your eyes. Mm. Very fetching. You think? They got a this thing for each other, for sure, man. Punch. You ought to try it. Might snap you out of your crime spree. All of this, uh, trying to murder each other is just sexual tension, obviously. I guess Sly doesn't really try to murder her. It's more the other way around. Sly's just trying not to die. She's not particularly good at murdering Sly, either. She tries, but she fails every time. <laughs> she definitely awoke some of the furries, too. <laughs> God damn it. I was looking at the comment and just completely missed um, myself. That Wait. We have to start over from the beginning when we die there? I'm pretty sure when we did the Just One More Level podcast episode on this, I'm pretty sure I uh, mentioned really enjoying the fact that, like, the checkpoints were really fair. That doesn't feel like a very fair checkpoint. <laughs> Granted, they probably don't expect you to die there. It's not like... It's not like uh, that's supposed to be a hard section at all. I just <laughs> wasn't looking at all. what I get for checking at or checking at chat holy shit dude I can't speak English in case anyone didn't know that already oh really like okay so that's already set and everything too so really the only thing we lost was our position everything else was good to go See, all you gotta do is zigzag. It's not actually, like, meant to be hard at all. I'm just... <laughs> was not paying attention, man. Got fucked. Oh, goddamn. Uh, I looked at Chad again, because I thought, oh, yeah, we'll just walk right into the freaking van. We'll be fine. Nope. You gotta jump into the van. 
Once again, that, my that gang and I had given Inspector Start Connelly the fox place. the slip. I was surprised to see how well she took it. Finally, the secret police file I'd been searching for all these years. With this, I could avenge my family and regain possession of our most valued treasure. It all began when I was just a kid, bouncing on my father's knee. You see, I come from a long line of master thieves who kept all their secrets of sneaking and stealing in an ancient book. The Thievius Raccoonus. Anyone who read it learned to be especially sneaky, which is why we specialize in stealing from criminals. After all, there's no honor, no challenge, no fun stealing from ordinary people. You rip off a master criminal, and you know you're a master thief. Well, on the night I was supposed to inherit the book, five visitors came unannounced to our door. My father fought to protect us, but the gang of villains known as the Fiendish Five overpowered him and ransacked our house until they found the Thievius Raccoonus. Our family's manual of thieving greatness fell into their filthy hands. They tore the book into five pieces and split it up, each villain disappearing to the farthest corners of the world to commit dastardly crimes. Broken alone, I was dumped at the town orphanage. There I met two guys who became my lifelong buddies and trusted crew. Bentley, techno genius and strategist supreme, and Murray, part-time driver and full-time burden. Together we pledged to track down the fiendish five, avenge my father, and steal back the Thievius Raccoonus. I knew I was about to face the toughest test of my life. On this mission, I would either become a master thief like my ancestors before me, or fail and allow my family name to bite the dust. When the following icon appears, your progress is being that saved. Yep. Nice I know what auto saves are. Thank you. Oh, thanks, man. That's how video games work. Yep. <laughs> I don't see myself re-watching movies at any time, but uh, thank you for keeping all of those files for us yeah the road trip gave me the time i needed to study up on sir raleigh the frog as a young man this hot-tempered frog grew bored of his life of luxury and privilege on a whim he tried his hand at a bit of piracy and found it to his liking raleigh who quickly became addicted to crime was brought into the Fiendish Five as Chief Machinist, where his evil tinkering genius rose to new heights. The last reported sighting of this mad machinist was off the soggy coast of the Isle of Wrath, a small island uncomfortably situated in the middle of the perilous Welsh Triangle. I love the, like, cartoon title card opening sequences here. Sly Cooper in Tide of Terror. Like, <laughs> it, it's dumb, but I love it, man. It adds to the character of the game. And it does kind of have that, uh, like, morning cartoon, Saturday cartoon kind of vibe to it in a lot of ways, too. Honestly, I'm kind of surprised they never made a Sly Cooper cartoon. That I know of, at least. Because I feel like it would translate very well to one. You know what I mean? I'm surprised. Maybe they, uh, I don't know. Maybe they will. They've been making, Sony's been making a lot of stuff all of a sudden. They're working on, what, The Last of Us, the the show or movie or whatever right now, and they, they did Uncharted not too long ago. Yeah, sure. And like that ladder. I hope that this is the one to complete right now. Honestly, me too. I have I haven't played Sly Cooper through all the way in a long time, so I'm yeah, I'm I'm excited for it too. I love Sly Cooper. Just gameplay wise, it's amazing. I don't know how well like the the humor will hold up for me now. You know, being almost 30 years old versus when I originally played it, probably being like 11 or something. <laughs> but. It's not, like, offensively bad or anything by any means. I just don't know, you know, if it's gonna have me chuckling the same way when I it did as when I was a kid. Reminds you of Scooby-Doo PS2 gameplay-wise? 
I've never played a, P uh, a Scooby Doo game on PS2. Like, so I did pick up that one, but I haven't actually tried it out yet. I may. I don't know. I'll probably just wait until the it comes up for the gauntlet one, which, of course, if you want to see it, don't forget, guys, you can add weight to the random number generator to pick any game that you want. Um, it's not a guarantee that the game you want will be picked, but the more points you add to it, the more likely it will be. As proven by the same night Nate voted like nine times on Shaman King it got picked. And then while it wasn't an official role, I was just showing how it all worked. Um, Demon Stone, the other game that he picked, got picked twice. Twice. <laughs> but they were just they were just demo roles, and I made that clear, Nate, before you start crying again. <laughs> Rayman cartoon is your favorite? I didn't even know they made a Rayman. Oh wait. I may have heard of the Rayman cartoon. I want to play one of the actual Rayman games one of these days. We tried Rayman Arena for the gauntlet, and uh, it wasn't great, to be honest. It was okay, but yeah. I think I would enjoy an actual Rayman game a lot more. Okay, I'm trying to remember where all of the stuff is here. That was dumb. It's fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. BRB, take your time, man. We're not going anywhere. <laughs> I know you didn't literally cry. I'm just picking on you, bud. <laughs> it was... I was very surprised that it was picked twice, though. In a row. Like... Because, I mean, there's, what, eight or nine... Uh, weights added to it, whatever you want to call it, where, you know, most other games only have one. Although, there is that one that, uh, Metal Gear Solid 3 has a, has a few on it as well. I, it has seven or eight, something like that. Demon Realm, yeah, 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 that's the one that you were, you were going for. Um, but anyways, yeah, the whole point was that if, if anybody wants to add weight to stuff, you can redeem it using points on Twitch, so it doesn't cost any money or anything crazy like that. Oh, you're adding more to it right now. Yeah, that's... <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, God. If you want to know what games you can add it to, it's any of the ones highlighted in green on my uh, PS2 collection list from the link tree. Um, you can vote on the ones that are in gray, but those obviously won't come into effect until... <laughs> Dr. Pepper. Um, obviously won't come into effect until we actually get my hands on that game. Because, yeah. <laughs> the ones in gray are just ones that exist on the PS2. But I don't own yet. Someday, though. Someday. And then we've talked about it. I don't know for sure when or if we're ever going to do it. But we talked about doing, like, a, uh, a game a week or a game every... Well, not necessarily a game a week. Every... Picking a game from the list of games that I don't own and adding it to a, like, uh, like a donation in incentive kind of thing. Not necessarily that you guys have to or anything, but if you want to help get a game quicker or whatever, you'd be able to. Um, but I haven't worked out the details on how that's going to work yet because I'm not entirely comfortable using PayPal as a donation platform or a tip platform or whatever you want to call it uh, because there's problems with PayPal. And, uh, yeah. Anyways, so right now I do have a tip link, but it's not, like, linked directly to Twitch in any way. And as far as I know, there's no way to get that link directly to Twitch in any way. So I got to figure out how I want to, how I want to work that out. Spy Hunter 2, wait, wait, what? <laughs> did you, did you, did you pick a game that we've already played was it spy Hunter? i feel like it was spy hunter 2 that i that i played on stream before now if you if you like messed up or whatever just let me know um you can send me a message on discord or just let me know on stream and i'll try to uh try to remember to change it for you because like uh for instance nate whenever he was doing all those ones for shaman king he put a vote in after i i called the end on it because of the the delay on twitch and uh, so I let him change his vote for... I think he ended up putting it on Sly 2, which, again, is a game we don't own yet. But one of these days. One of these days. The games in green are the games I haven't played yet. The gray 
the ones in gray are ones that I don't own yet. Uh, any other color than green is uh, <laughs> is is something that I uh, have either finished if it's in gold or I forget the color of the ones that I've played on stream, but they have their own color too. You should pick the game without checking the list. <laughs> I think I actually have played that one, um, but. I mean, that's fine. Like I said, if you want to change it or whatever, that's perfectly fine, too. I'll do my best to remember to put it on the right one. I mean, or you could leave it, because I'm probably going to use that same list to pick... Well, I don't know. I'll probably make a subset. I was going to say I'll probably use that same list to pick the game that... To complete in the future, instead of just having a normal poll, having people um, add weight to the, to the RNG generator is probably what I'm going to do. But I think a subset would be better, since all not all of the games that i want to complete are on the ps2 so they won't be on that list and then uh not every game on ps2 do i want to complete right now either there's some there's some not so great games guys like uh summoner for instance <laughs> it's not fantastic you know what i mean it's okay but it's not amazing I do want to play more of it, but I don't know if I want to finish it right now. 7-9-2. One of these days, I do want to try and see if you just put in the right combination, if it works or not. I imagine it won't let you open it. Yeah, you know what? Actually, it probably... Um... It, what was I going to say? It probably doesn't even let you put in a code until you've collected all of the things or whatever. Oh, uh, that's not a bad idea. Chocobo. Because, like, I want to do more stuff with it. Like, whenever people sub or resub or whatever, I want to give them so many votes on a game. Um, or, or, uh... If they donate so many bits, you know, I would like them to be able to or whatever. There's just no easy way to integrate it. But that's a really neat idea. Give everyone one free vote once a day as long as they uh, come into the stream. I mean, basically everyone. Because you get you get one point in, like, no time at all. I probably will put a, uh, a second one in, actually. Channel points. Open that up. Rewards and challenges. Is there, like, a duplicate option? No. To access Raleigh's blimp, you would have to sneak through that high voltage power Edit. tube. To do that without getting electrocuted, you'd have to destroy that power generator. And to do that, you need uh, two more of Raleigh's treasure keys, which blind. are heavily guarded. Interesting. So when are you going to get to the impossible part? Fine. But I warned you, I've marked the areas you need to hit with holographic markers. Follow them to your objectives. Thanks. Don't mention it. It's your point. Funeral. Uh, redemption cooldown. No cooldown, but once per user per stream. Create. Add weight to a. Sorry, I'm just adding that in now because I'll most likely forget to later. And I really like that idea. Uh, add weight to a game, PS2, gauntlet, save, oh, uh, add weight to a game, once, I don't know, I'm just gonna call it one, once, once a day, sure, whatever, I don't know probably do a better naming for that but <laughs> you would suggest doing it in phases so pick games to be pulled on discord once you have a list set up voting on stream that way someone doesn't waste points to add a game to the list that's almost through voting yeah well the like uh the ps2 gauntlet ones for instance that list is gonna be until every game on ps2 is played outside of um the the ones that have like copyright issues and stuff like that that we can't play on stream so that one like i i'm fine i think just having up all of the time for people to put as many or as little points as they want on whatever game because it will eventually get picked 
But, uh, yeah, that's what I'm still trying to decide exactly, is how to do the the ones that we want to complete. That's, that's what I'm still kind of working out the kinks on, hence why I don't have a list put together for that yet. But I'm going to have to soon, since we are, you know. <laughs> Sly Cooper's not that long of a game, that's all I'm saying. Doing it in phases, so pick games to be pulled on Discord once you have a list set up voting on stream. That way someone doesn't waste points to add a game to the list that's almost through voting. It's a fair point, though. Fair point. But, like, the way I want to do it, um, is the list would just keep going forever, basically, until the game is picked. Same with, like, games that we want to complete, most likely. Um, right, like, if I want to complete a game now on stream, I don't think that's going to change in, like, oh, god, we were close to dying. I don't think that's going to change in, you know, a month. So I'll probably just leave the game on the list forever. Or if I say we get a, a long string of very long games back to back and I don't want to play a long game, I would still keep the the votes that people had put on it before. That way, whenever it gets put back on the list, it'll start out with, you know, nine votes or whatever to make it a little bit more likely that it gets picked. Because we're still doing RNG for stuff. Um too just to be clear it's not most votes wins it's the more votes you put on something the more likely it is to be picked uh now if people end up hating that system or something obviously we can change it back to just votes to to win sort of deal but i do like the i do like the oh shit did i forget to put the input field on that one there you're totally right save there we go. Got it. But yeah, like I said, though, I do plan on doing, at the very least, a separate list for games that we want to complete. So that that is incoming. I see you voted on Metal Gear Solid 2. That's perfectly fine. Whenever I put that list together, I will make sure to add your votes to it. Um, and for everyone else, yes, there is a basically free once-a-day vote now, thanks to Chocobo's suggestion. That was a really good suggestion, man. Thank you. It does cost one point, but you get one point in, like, what? Um, not, not even a minute. Because I think it's, like, 200-some points every hour on Twitch that you that you watch. And that's for people that aren't subscribed. So, yeah, that's got to be like a point every 30 seconds or something like that. Basically free, as close to free as you can get <laughs> on Twitch. Uh, but anyways, yeah, any other suggestions about her or anything, though, I am very much open to because this is still trying to figure out the best way to, to do this sort of thing. Whenever I eventually get a custom bot set up, I want the bot to kind of handle it all for us, but it's a matter of finding time to do that. Because, like, one of the things you can do with a with a bot, um, a Twitch bot, is you can watch and, to some degree, control the, the rewards that people pick, so we could keep the reward system. But then I should also be able to monitor things like... Um, things like the uh, subs and follows and all that sort of stuff to give people votes that way too if they wanted to. I also would really like to use the, the bot points as another option, but that would need massively balanced because as we see with Nate right now, some people... <laughs> It's possible to just amount a ridiculous fortune <laughs> if you get a lucky string of gamble. Gambling, rather. Oh, being active in chat helps point yields too? I'm not surprised, but I didn't know that. Yeah, I don't need to worry too much about getting the ones on the grates themselves, just the ones between grates. Because the ones... Oh, God. Oh, God. That was close. <laughs> the ones on the grates, they just fall to the ground. So they're they're easy enough to gamble all in. <laughs> oh, I wish that sort of thing was an option. 
But again, like, that's why I want to make my own bot. Because the Streamlabs one, it works well, don't get me wrong. But law options are just limited. Um, you can't, like, there's no setting for that. I have to have a min and max. I don't believe there's any way for me to have a, a, uh, infinite option or anything like that on there. I'm trying to remember where all the, the messages in a bottle are on this level. But I'm struggling. I hope we didn't already miss some. What? <laughs> okay, it must just, uh, it must have just automatically did max. 120,000 points it now has. Wait, what? <laughs> that is, I had no idea that was a thing. Um, well, I mean, it still just did whatever the max was. I guess what I could do in that case is just set the max to, like, something absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> but... I don't know. I'm sure there's like a max for that Streamlabs has built in for that too. I don't even remember seeing that. Like, because I've read through the the different options in the Streamlabs bot a few times. I don't remember seeing that anywhere on there. Do it. Change it to higher. Uh, just because of you, I don't think I should change it any higher. <laughs> Although... I guess it would increase the likelihood that you lose everything, so. <laughs> but you already have a ridiculous amount. <laughs> I'm just trying to break the system now. I love it. I love it. Oh god, we fell. Okay, that one didn't do anything. Go ahead and try one of you... Tr uh, the all-in thing again. Nate, I know you have a crap ton of points. So you go ahead and try the gamble all-in. See what happens. I'm assuming it's just going to stop you at 10 grand. Though. So. Yeah, okay. Just It just stops you at 10 grand. I am very curious to see what the actual max is now, though, on Streamlabs. Streamlabs. Wait, how many notes in a bottle did I get for that level? Did I miss one somewhere? I must have missed one somewhere. Um, okay. Go to do, do cloud bot modules settings or no test do, 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 modules. I mean, where is a gamble mini game preferences max amount. Uh, how many nines can I put in? <laughs> okay, so it's an integer max. Or no, that's that's larger than integer max. I don't even know. I'm not going to try and read that number. That's the, that's the maximum for the time being. So <laughs> feel free to lose everything, Nate. We have 26 of 30. We missed 40 of them somewhere. Holy hell. How did I do that? This level's not even that big. How did I miss four? They gotta be around here somewhere. Oh, you're not just gonna go all in, man? Just shove it all in there? <laughs> go big or go home, right? Isn't that what you always say? <laughs> or, or, uh... Big, big risk, big reward, or... I don't remember the saying. <laughs> I can't. My brain don't work. Oh, God. That was close. Where? Oh, okay. Okay, it wasn't here. Was it on... You're gambling over 50%. 
Yeah, it's actually higher. I'm, I'm assuming, like, it was, it's weird. Whenever The reason I thought it was an integer max is because whenever I was typing in a shit ton of nines, it, uh... Do you have... Yeah, you have over 100,000, don't you? Maybe it takes time to update or something. Did the bot break in general? Somebody do another bot command and see if it's just broken entirely. Oh god, gambling just broke. <laughs> what happened? Heist is still working. Okay. Yeah, I think... <laughs> I think maybe it doesn't know how to work with that large of a number. It's 1 uh, e to the 20, I think, is is what it <laughs> is what it's coming up as yeah one e plus 20 that's that's way too many what's uh i'm actually just gonna do integer max that's 32 bit integer max value control c control v save settings there we go we'll try that now Maybe that'll work. I mean, 100,000 is pretty a lot, too, honestly. But if that doesn't work, maybe we will do, like, I don't know, a million or something crazy. Okay, slots are still working. Go ahead and feel free to uh, to try the, the gamble again whenever you want. It mm, hopefully is working now. Maybe. God, of course it says it's on cooldown. Why is it on cooldown? <laughs> no, no one could gamble. What are you talking about? I almost said Twitch Streamlabs. Can't turn the camera here, so I'm assuming there's nothing back here though. Nope. Where did I miss those other four at, man? Is it in here somewhere? What annoys me is we just did this, what, like a, a couple months ago? Like, it wasn't that long ago that we played this for the PlayStation 2 Gauntlet. And I got all of them then. Everyone lived? That's awesome. I actually did. I don't know if I told you guys. I did turn down the likelihood of surviving a little bit on the heist. Because as much as I love when we all live... Let's be honest, that was, like, the best way to farm coins, because, yeah. There you go. So, uh, it's working now, it seems like. I <laughs> I don't know what will happen if you win at Integer Max. I'm, I'm assuming, because, like, I don't know if it uses 32-bit integers or if it uses 64-bit. But if you win, it would have to double your amount of points to give back to you. And can can it even hold that many points? Is the bot capable of that? I honestly have no idea, man. That's a that's a problem for later, though. We'll figure that out when the time comes. I hate this last one right here. We did it. We lived. We're god gamers. Wasn't even worried. I lied. I think this may have been good and bad for you, Nate. <laughs> On the one hand, you can v do a lot more at one time now, which I'm sure it scratches that lizard brain of yours in some way or whatever. But on the other hand, you're never going to have points again because you're going to gamble them all away instantly. <laughs> With there being basically no limit. Nothing's stopping you now. As soon as you amass a fortune, it's all going to go away. <laughs> oh, they're right there. There's two. Where's the other one? Hey, congrats, Ru. It's nice to see someone that's not Nate winning for once. Sorry for all the Nate hate, but... <laughs> we love you, Nate. But goddamn, do you win too many. Okay, we're alive. Do you win too many? Okay. Oh, uh, we technically just took a hit there, didn't we? 
<laughs> so, so much for learning self-control, man. <laughs> Just instantly all in. <laughs> oh, God. It's fine. I'm sure you'll get it back sooner or later. So we still need two more, though. Ah, look, I, that was very kind of you, Rue, but at the one hand, don't feed his addiction. <laughs> we both know what he's going to do with those points. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the gamble all in as soon as the timer runs out. I'm not blind, right? There's no more. That I'm just like missing somewhere, right? Oh, wait. I see. Safe. There we go. Got it. Yeah, I know. I, I remember he was giving him out. He was actually very kind. Or you were actually very kind. I misread the name that sent the message. With uh, handing them back out to people when you were on your, your win streak. But that doesn't mean we need to be enablers. <laughs> oh, shit. I didn't realize that there was an ad running. I thought we had more time because, you know, we haven't actually been playing that long. Um, but, yeah, I forgot it also took us, like, 10, 15 minutes to find the freaking game. So we're going to take just a very short break because the ad's already, like, halfway over. But I do need to scratch my, scratch my legs. Stretch my legs and uh, fill up my water. So we'll be right back in just a couple minutes guys on the elf there the one that's just here helping us out but why not Did you know you could switch characters that you had running around the world i did i forget what is it like one of the r buttons or something like that i was just uh, fumbling around with the buttons one time and accidentally switched between them so <laughs> i did actually know that i've decided to pretty much keep barathor as the one running around but yeah very cool though i love that they included that that should be the... Oh, double critical. Very nice. Okay. So that was the end of both of them. That was an easier fight than expected. Guess we didn't really need to use haste at all there, but... Oh, well. So that's another elf to help us out. Many thanks for our action. More XP. You have seen one of Rohan's riders overpowered and captured by Urukai. He still drew breath as he was carried away. Ew, no. So I'm guessing we're going to have to find him. Two members of my party went into the cave, and one is near the Uruk blockade. I will seek cover near the Urukai blockade and await further instructions. Very nice. So that's another one down, and another epic scene that we'll go ahead and check out. Aomir, Aomir's rebels. Aomir slays the Urukai while Saruman plots terrible evil. Saruman and Urukai are close now to achieving their goal. They reach the edge of Fanghorn Forest. But Eomer's Rohirrim will not grant them permission to survive the night. Saruman's mind devises many treacheries. His schemes lead him to create a terrible war against this land. Mark them well. They will be used against Rohan many times in the war to come. I like all the extra lore. I just hate constantly being pulled out of games for cutscenes. <laughs> but I do like all the extra lore, especially for uh, Lord of the Rings, because I, I just really enjoy the lore for this universe. For Middle Earth here. I think we got a little bit of extra equipment, didn't we? Yeah. Polished Elfstone of Armor Enhancement. Okay. So, he seems to be the one that's taking the most hits. Um... Hellstone of Fell Shadow. Let's one learn shadow crafting skills. I don't even remember attaching that. We'll have to check out that ability at some point. Uh, we don't really seem to be dealing with very much water stuff at the moment. So let's maybe replace that one with it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's uh, get rid of water. Let's give you armor enhancement instead. And then we will go to her and give her the water protection just because she has an open slot. So I see no reason not to give her something at least. Yeah, which, uh, there it is. Yep. 
So, I mean, we could have had Hood run around. We don't get to see him in battle very often, so maybe we'll uh, throw him here in the overworld. <laughs> Haunted dust. I don't know what the hell. Hello, hello. I also grabbed a slice of pie. <laughs> While well, I was downstairs. Couldn't not grab the pie, man. All right, especially since uh, it's been it's been in the fridge for a couple days now. So, I mean, it's still fine for now, but I don't know what the shelf life of putting pie is, but I can't imagine it's much longer than a handful of days. Interesting. Old Sally Cooper's fast getaway raccoon roll. Stories claim she can move faster rolling than anyone else could on the run. Hold down the triangle button to use this move. Switch between your power-ups using L2 and R2. I swear, man. <laughs> if you somehow get back to like 200,000 or whatever you were at. I just don't know how you got so freaking lucky with it. Because it's supposed to be a 50-50 game. But somehow you got up so freaking high on it, man. It was insane. You really need to just like go out and buy an actual lottery ticket or something whenever you were on that that original streak with it. Oh, uh, let's go. Oh, uh, another quick reminder, guys, while it's on my mind that I forgot to mention earlier. You did? You won like three bucks? I mean, hey, that's better than nothing. Um, the... You spent four. <laughs> Of course, I should have known. Yep. Uh, anyways, no, we are doing a fundraiser for the Trevor Project right now. No one has to donate if they don't want to or can't. I totally get that. I don't even have a specific goal in mind or anything that I'm trying to reach with the charity drive. I just saw that it was something Twitch added that you can easily do now as part of your streams. And I was like, that's nice, man. Plus, the Trevor Project is an awesome little charity that helps uh, the mental health of young people in the LGBTQ plus community. Which I think is a really good cause. So, if you have the extra money laying around and you would like to support them as well, then feel free to use the uh, the donate button that should have replaced my uh, subscribe button. You can still sub sub subscribe to support me if you like, of course. You just have to go to, I once you click that subscribe button, I think there's like another tab and that'll appear near the top so you can switch to regular sub mode instead of a uh, donate to, to that mode. And uh, just as a side note, I don't get any of the money that's donated to charity. It goes right through uh, Twitch to PayPal to the charity. Never touches me. It doesn't go to my PayPal. It goes to um, the PayPal charity foundation thing, whatever it is. So. so, yeah, if you'd like to do that, feel free to do so. I would appreciate it. Must be worth millions. And I'm sure uh, you know what that they would as well. Every little bit helps at the end of the day. You're gonna have to be extra you haven't used any tobacco today, Nate? That's here. awesome, man. Seriously, congrats on that. That's uh, Trust me, I remember when I quit smoking. That's not a fun thing. <laughs> it's rough. Getting off, uh, whether it's snuff, cigarettes, or whatever. Giant pain in the ass, man, but... It's better for you this way. <laughs> Obviously. There's so many studies out there. It's undeniable at this point that tobacco is not good for you. And uh, hopefully this way you'll have a little bit more time to spend with your, your wife and kids and all that. And if you're lucky, maybe you'll feel a little bit better too. I don't, not to say you feel bad necessarily, but I know that in some ways I felt a little bit better after I quit smoking. Um... It, honestly, it wasn't as big of a change as what, like, you know, they try to say it is. Like, people say how much better food tastes after you quit smoking and, uh, like, how much more energy you have and, like, all of this stuff. I honestly didn't get any of that. I'm, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie to anybody, but, um, my sense of smell definitely does seem to be better uh, I don't stink like cigarette smoke all the time anymore. That's a big benefit. Uh, my breathing has gotten a little bit easier, though. Again, not not a massive change. Small things like that, though. And uh, 
you know, it also greatly decreases your risk of dying <laughs> at, a, at a premature age. So, if nothing else, it's probably worth it for that, man. Especially whenever you have kids and shit, like... Hasn't been bad with the nicotine pouch, just a little bit of sleepiness. Felt great after you quit smoking, you got a bunch of those, but I smoked a pack and a half a day. Yeah, it was never quite that bad. My my max that I ever got up to was about a pack a day. Um, and actually, towards the end, whenever I decided to quit, I was smoking considerably less around that time. Um, I don't know why, but I, I started to feel a little bit sick whenever I would smoke. Like, like uh, not like... Like, oh my god, I'm gonna throw up sick, but like that that when you consume too much nicotine, sort of sick, you know? And I don't I don't know why, because I had been smoking for a long ass time. But that was one of the reasons why I was like, maybe it's just time for me to quit, man. Like And uh yeah, I did. And luckily I've stayed off of them so far since then. Holy hell, why can't I jump up here? Game. Excuse me, game. <laughs> What is going on, man? I was able to jump up on this one, no problem. Watch it not let me jump up over here now. No, that one worked out just fine. That is so weird. Can I make my way all the way around, or... No, oh God, nope. Son of a bitch. Now, once we got to that middle section, we probably would have been screwed anyways. Okay, well, in that case, I got stuck on the little ledge there. That's probably part of the reason why. There we go, dude. I don't know what the hell was going on, why I couldn't just do that from the get-go, but holy hell, at least we got there in the end. Okay, 13 or 30. I th think that's all of them. I don't think we've missed any yet. I have another, like, two bites of pie, so I'm going to take a bite of it. Oh my god. I don't think Mr. Noodle can hear, but if she can, thank you again, love. The pie is fantastic. It's nothing too fancy. It's just a uh, a pudding pie, a box pudding pie. But it is a homemade-ish crust. Uh, whatchamacallit crust? Graham cracker crust. And completely homemade chocolate whipped cream on top, which is awesome if you can't tell noodle and i we got a thing for chocolate man <laughs> we we like some chocolate in our lives oh god got him excuse me i like the coin does anyone remember what the coins are actually for is, oh, I think it's just if you get 100, you get, like, a life or something, right? So I probably don't need to worry too much about making sure we grab all of them. I mean, shouldn't, like, try and avoid them, but also probably don't need to go out of our way to get every single one. The notes in a bottle, though, when you collect those, you get new power-ups that, that you can use, new moves that you can use, so... Those, I feel like they're worth going out of our way for. Oh god, we're caught. There we go. Thank god the klaxon wasn't too far away. Okay, we're still missing five. There's probably one or two right here, yeah. So we're missing three. I'm pretty sure we found them all last time. So they can't be that hidden. Where, where are they though? Is there like a platform somewhere we didn't jump to? Is it under the bridge maybe? No. Platform hidden behind somewhere? I, it's terrible how bad my memory is because we really did just do this stuff what like I said, like a couple months ago. It couldn't have been that long ago. And I know that we, we collected, to the best of my memory at least, which 
again, admittedly, isn't great. Uh, I'm pretty sure we collected everything while we were there. Is there a first person camera? Select new. Roll and dive. There we go. Hmm. Thought maybe there was like a platform up there or something that we missed. It's not something as obvious as like just a safe that's sitting right in. Guys, I found them. <laughs> they were right there. I mean, at least they weren't right in front of my face. I just didn't check that corner over there. Whoever thought this code up knew what they were doing. Dial in 436. How is that code any stronger than any other code? Like, he always makes those comments. Like, whoever thought this up really knew what they were doing. Really know what they were do really knew what they were doing how, man. Like, how is 436 more are the of secure than 753? Uh-huh. Yes, I, I mean, I guess 753 kind of, uh, has a pattern to it, so maybe that one's not the best example, but... <laughs> No, because it's less than or less by two each time. But you get what I'm saying. You get the point. Three numbers are three numbers, man. Does it really matter what they are? What you gotta do, you gotta throw them a curveball, right? And just make it all like the number seven. Well, no. Then you have seven, seven, seven. Uh, uh two. It's just two, 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 man. I don't think that's anything, right? That's now going to be my password for everything if it requires three digits. Don't take it. It's mine. Speaking of pouches, I'm kind of feeling the need for one, for one myself. Um. Okay, so how... I don't remember quite how far we got on it whenever we were playing it for the gauntlet. And Noodle, thank you so much for the five bits. I don't know if you heard, but I was saying thank you again for the pie not too long ago. pie the pudding pie that you made i was eating a piece of it and uh talking about it a little bit so i was just saying thank you pro tip don't die thank you that's an excellent tip man <laughs> welcome to the stream uh tom wolf i'm sure i'm butchering that i'm sorry tomb wolf yeah i don't know <laughs> but anyways yeah no thank you for the pie mr noodle it is excellent all right, let's uh, head to the next level. We did, I remember at least, a, what, two more levels that we did? Tomb Wolf, that's the right one, okay. Um, because I remember we got through there. So we must have done this one and then maybe the next one. Because I'm pretty sure we got to the next section. My uh, memory's not great. So, I could be completely forgetting, but as far as butchering it, you and everyone else onto it. Yeah, I can, I can imagine. I'm sorry. <laughs> Names are hard, man. <laughs> Especially whenever it's, you know, like a, like a username, not, not a name that you would come across all the time. Before I uh, started going by stream, I, I used a different username on you know, for multiplayer games and Twitch and all that BS. And it was the same way. No one no one ever knew how to pronounce it, so I feel your pain. 100% I feel the pain. I think that's everything in that part. I'm not necessarily trying to do a 100% playthrough, but, like, the levels are small enough, and generally it's easy enough to... to find the things so i just kind of feel like we should plus getting the power-ups is nice uh i don't even know how to pronounce that i'm tempted to say enema because e-n-i-m-a kind of looks like enema but i i'm sure that's not right <laughs> at all <laughs> oh god what was uh 
uh, Elon Musk, what did they name their child? I don't remember what it was now, but can you imagine whenever they go to, you know, school or something like that? Of course, they, they'll probably be famous enough that they won't have that issue, but, like, <laughs> I, can, I can only imagine every person you meet. Like, you think it's bad on Twitch for you right now, man. Imagine everywhere you go, every person you meet having no idea. They just, like, read your name on a list somewhere for roll call. And then they're like, who the hell is, uh, I don't know, XJ3247, <laughs> like, is that even a name? Excuse me? What? How do we... Oh, but that's right. We come back around. We come back around. I remember. I got there in the end. Do a little swing. Grab all of these damn things. I wish they would make some more Sly Cooper games, like modern day ones. Because, like, I mean, these games look really good, in my opinion, for the PS2. And they've held up extremely well. But it would be really neat to see what they could do with, with the games now. Adding even more details and little, uh... Little set pieces and things. Maybe slightly larger levels, though. I don't want them to, like, go and turn it into an open world game or anything weird like that. I still... I like the way Sly works with the individual levels. Not every game needs to be open world, man. So I don't want them to change it too much, but it would be it would be fun to just get a modern day iteration of it. Of course, they're they're too busy working on other projects these days. If you listen to Tool, the greatest man of all time, you know it's pronounced the same as Enema. Okay, okay, okay. I thought it was Enema, but I wasn't sure. And I've listened to a couple Tool songs before, but I couldn't even tell you what which one's off the top of my head. I'm the type of person that just, like, puts on a playlist on Google Play Music or back when I used to use Spotify, Spotify or whatever. And then I just listen to music. So, like, I <laughs> even for some of my favorite bands that I actually listen to on a pretty regular basis, a lot of times I won't know the names of their songs. <laughs> like I could I could sing half of the songs to you but I'd be screwed if you asked me to name them like there was one on PS3 or PS4 yeah I remember I think whenever I played on the gauntlet we were talking about that about there being one on the PS3 or PS4 burnout revenge did we man we've played too many games I can't remember we played one of the burnout games not too long ago, which was very good looking. I was also very pleasantly surprised with just the gameplay of that game. I mean, I'd, I had always heard good things about the Burnout games, and I assumed that I would like them. But I actually never played one until then that I can remember. And uh, it was just a fun time, you know? Just driving around destroying cars and shit like it doesn't get a whole lot better than that <laughs> creating the absolute largest crashes possible okay we're still missing four where would i miss them at reflection is the best tool song don't at me i'll uh i'll agree with you on that one because i don't know off the top of my head <laughs> Reflection, triad, and disposition. What did I just say? <laughs> I can break this game for you for the rest of eternity? Wait, what? How? How do you... I want to know. <laughs> How do you break the game? Surprisingly, I've never watched like a speedrun or anything of it, so... I don't know like any of the glitches or anything like that. Well, no, I think I have watched at least the end of a speedrun, because I remember uh, there being, like, some weird pole glitch thing whenever you get on and off a uh, poles. When you unlock one of the safes, Bentley mentions knowing Navajo Code Talk. Navajo Code Talk wouldn't exist without World War II. Wait, really? If you know more about that, please explain, because now I'm very interested. <laughs> I'm, I'm curious. In what way? Like, did, did the Navajo people create their own code? during world war ii or is that just something like the the army called 
some sort of code that they were using for, for radio transmissions. <laughs> There's a furry axis. <laughs> I was gonna... <laughs> I was about to say what is with all of the furry talk in chat today, but I guess it kind of makes sense given what game we're playing. I shouldn't actually be that surprised. This is a, a very fur, furry friendly game, isn't it? Canonically in this universe, there was an Animal World War II and Animal Hitler. <laughs> and Animal Holocaust, what? Oh no. <laughs> oh man. That's... <laughs> That's terrible and fantastic at the same time. Oh, it was just the Navajo language. Okay. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> of course it was, yeah. That's, that makes perfect sense, man. Oh. Did we miss it, like, all the way here in the beginning? There's one left, man. One. Where the hell is it? How am I this blind? It has to be somewhere. <laughs> it doesn't just not exist. They're not even physics enabled. They're either just there or they're not. Is that, wait, does that also mean Animal 9-11? Animal Spanish Crusades? Probably. I'm, I'm here for this... Uh, for this alternate universe where Sly Cooper, like, is just our world. It's literally right fucking there. But everyone's animals, man. Animal Frank. <laughs> oh, that's the worst of puns. I love and hate you guys. I just want you all to know this. Like... <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> Has anyone ever heard of the uh, game Timberborners? The, the only reason I ask is because uh, it's it's a game. Five seven nine. Five seven nine. It's a game about like the apocalypse. <laughs> Sorry, Noodle. Um, so, like, the world ended. There was some sort of apocalypse, right? And all humans were destroyed. In fact, all animal life on on the world was destroyed, except for uh, beavers. For some reason, the beavers survived, and they got more intelligence. So now the beavers are rising up and creating their own civilizations. And it's just like a town builder survival game sort of thing. But it's 100% beavers. And there's there's destroyed buildings, and that's where you get your metal from. You have to, like, send them out to deconstruct these old destroyed buildings. And then they bring back that old metal and uh, smelt it down to get new metal to build, like, bridges and, and shit like that. And, of course, since it's a beaver game, you can you can create dams to store water. Because the there's no combat in the game, at least not yet. But the survival element comes from there's a drought every so many days uh in the game and the drought can last for in in the harder modes i think it's up to like 15 days or something like that which doesn't sound like that much but things die really quickly in this game so that's where your you know your challenge and survival comes from and uh it's just so dumb like <laughs> this idea of the apocalypse and these beavers rising up uh, but it, it's also pretty fun, just the... I enjoy those type of games with the, the town building survival elements and all that BS, so... It's pretty fun. There's there's videos of it on YouTube, and the reason why Noodle was doing the dot 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 is because I watch the real civil engineer on YouTube play those games, and uh, he has a little theme song that he sings. And one night I couldn't remember which ones I had watched and which ones I hadn't. So I was going through my playlist, just like removing a bunch of them from there. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so he kept singing the theme song over and over and over again. <laughs> and it's like, <laughs> he, he got so, or Noodle got so, uh, so annoyed with it. It was hilarious. But anyways, it's a, it's a great series. It actually is a fun game. 
uh, whenever I played it, hard mode didn't exist and the game was a little bit too easy. But since then, they've added more mechanics to the game um, as well as the the harder difficulty. So I'd give it a I'd give it a try. I plan on playing it again at some point myself here relatively soon. I missed your message on why you got banned. I have to look this up. You got banned from Discord one time for pinging the owner and asking why he told the Nazis where Anne Frank was hiding. Wait, what? <laughs> why did you? <laughs> I just want to know, why did you ask him that? Like, did they say something that... <laughs> that led to that? Like, what was... <laughs> That's just such a random ass thing, like, <laughs> to ask someone. Want to know what the hell kind of meth they were smoking to come up with that? I have no idea, but I'm glad they smoked it because, yeah. Because <laughs> it actually is a really fun game. Leighton said she doesn't like you. Why? What'd I do? The Last Stand Aftermath? What is that game about? You've piqued my interest. Oh, it's online? Yeah, no. <laughs> okay, the message isn't going to pop up on stream there, Tomb Wolf, but I saw it. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Oh, uh, it does also have a single player element. I may check it out for a single player, but I just I just don't play multiplayer games that often. Um, I just don't have the time for it. Honestly, is the the big issue. Plus, I get kind of like the uh, like multiplayer elements in games just kind of get old to me after a little while. Wait a second. What if I jumped into that barrel for? No, just leave it. Leave it. It's it's fine. It doesn't need to come through. But, uh, we're not gonna, like, do anything else. Just, just let it go. Weenie a big liar? Uh, yeah. I mean, I know. <laughs> Noodle is a big liar. <laughs> um, but anyways, yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. Something about multiplayer games just never hold my interest for particularly long. I don't know why. Like, whenever I was younger, I used to play a shit ton of Call of Duty and stuff like that. And I could just play that for days you know like come home from from school or or wherever and then just hop on the ps3 and boot up call of duty modern warfare and just play for hours but these days man i play like one match of a fps or something online and i'm just like i'm i'm done like i'm just bored with it already so You prefer, like, co-op multiplayer games and PvP games? Yeah, I've tried to do that one a couple times. Like, uh, Divinity Original Sin, for instance. Because I, I like tactical RPGs and stuff like that. Uh, I tried playing that with my brother. And we had a fun time with it. But just, like, scheduling conflicts stopped us from really getting far in it at all. So, for that reason, it's like I don't... I still don't play it very much. You know what I mean? But... Layton, you like the stories on Con, not the online group thing? Yeah, that's... I played... All of the ones that I had, I played the uh, the campaigns on, and I do still enjoy that, but I just can't do the, the online anymore. I have so many friends that, like, absolutely love zombies and shit like that on Call of Duty, and that's another thing that I was never able to get into. Because ev even at the time, for me, that was too samey. Like, it's the same thing over and over and over again. You're just trying to get a little bit farther in it each time, which... I mean, as, as a fan of speedrunning, I guess I should be a little more understanding, but I, it just doesn't make sense to me at the end of the day. Could play Stardew and Minecraft and Terraria with your D&D &D group for literally hours. That's fair. That's fair. Like, uh, Noodle and I are playing some Stardew Valley multiplayer together right now, and I am having a lot of fun with that. Though we haven't in a while. We need to start our, uh, our playthrough back up, Noodle, one of these days. But, I mean, Stardew's also just one of my favorite games of all time, so, <laughs> like, there's that, too. That that helps out a lot, honestly. <laughs> World of War Zombies? Black Ops ruined it for me, though. See, World of War, I couldn't get into that game, period, really. I, I think it's just that 
like World War One, World War Two setting, whichever one it was in World of War. I just uh, I don't know. It's not it's not my favorite setting. I really like the the modern warfare and Black Ops settings a lot more. Um, probably prefer modern warfare to Black Ops, honestly. Which I know for a lot of people is a little bit backwards, but for me, I really like that. We've abandoned our farm. It's not like, <laughs> it's not like, uh, whatchamacallit though, where, uh, Animal Crossing, where if you don't play for a while, everything just goes to hell. Like, <laughs> our farm is still there and it's perfectly fine. We can go back to it at any point, but yeah, we have not played for quite a while. I guess the last time we played is when we were on vacation, which was the middle of August, like... Do I have a Discord? I do. You can do an exclamation mark Discord in chat to get the link to it if you like. To be honest, we don't do a ton with it on there at the moment, but it's there. <laughs> I announce my streams, of course, whenever they happen, and uh, I don't know, we share the occasional meme and things like that, but <laughs> that's pretty much it right now. Nah, son of a bitch. Die. Thank you. And... We don't need no ladder. Never mind. I lied. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> you know what? That kind of worked, man. Falling into that fire saved us at the end of the day. Well, saved us a trip back up here at least. <laughs> nice, Chocobo. Nate, how are your points? Uh, <laughs> did you did you get any back yet, man? Oh, good, he can't see us. Oh, I thought we were screwed. I'm not gonna lie. There we go. Deaded. I actually forget. How do those flashlight guys kill you? Like, what do they, what do they do? I remember they see you, of course, and I know I've died to them before, but I can't actually remember. Did they just, like, run at you or something? Uh, ranged attacks. Got it. No worries. I'll probably end up dying to one again here soon. <laughs> I'm pretty sure when we were playing this before, we died on this section, like, five times, man. This one level. Like, idiots. It's not even a hard section. I was just <laughs> apparently having a bit of an off day with it, man. Those guys snot. There's machine guns, voodoo bitches, and fire dudes. It's amazing how much I've forgotten about the game since I played it forever ago. I mean, it has been, you know... Oof. When did this game come out? <laughs> Early 2000s? Probably been like 15 years or something, but still... Is that the last of them? Hell yeah. Is there another Klaxon? Good. We can just run back instead of using the stupid barrel again. I do like the barrel section though. Like it just adds a little bit more to the game. A little bit of a stealth element without it being too much. What do we got? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. 242. Got it. What are we getting this time? What kind of power up? Interesting. Chris Cooper's dive collection technique. Dive this collection. Is an extension of the dive move you already know. Okay. Just jump and hit the triangle button near breakable objects for some fast breaking, fast collecting action. So wait, how is that different from our regular dive? Oh my god, you're already back up over 100,000. This is bullshit. <laughs> <I don't... laughs> it's rigged, I swear, man. Oh, is that... Okay, so we can just, like, dive straight down to break things now? That's what it gave us? Your manager's back tomorrow. What should you do to welcome her? 
Uh, maybe just, I don't know, buy her some cookies or something? I know the answer you want. You want to, like, hide shit all over the store or something like that to annoy her, but, like, <laughs> you could just be nice to your manager instead. Does she like, uh, brownies? <laughs> like, everyone likes brownies, right? Get her some brownies, man. That'll be a nice way to welcome her back. Okay, so that's all the levels now. I don't think we've forgotten any. Head on over to the next section. I think we're actually going to make it a little bit farther this time than we did whenever we were playing it just for the gauntlet. I mean, I guess that's to be expected. Consider, excuse me, game, camera. Considering we just played it a month or two ago for that, the beginning of it at least. We got these bluey, you think it's called toys? I found a way after all what? What the hell is a bluey but toy? It is to failure. I'm not gonna tell me You're gonna have to like send a pic on Discord or something. I have no idea what a bluey toy way. is. <laughs> like, <laughs> really me, man. I'm completely anyway, lost on that one, man. So what are we waiting for? You show me those hollow what's it? You mean my holographic markers? Yeah, yeah. And I'll swipe whatever it takes to get shot out of that cannon and steal back my family's <laughs> devious raccoonus. Nate, you gotta calm down a little bit, man. <laughs> I, I know you need that little hit of dopamine right now, but like, <laughs> you gotta you gotta give the bot a chance to recover. You just stole all their money, <laughs> just instantly right back into it. Didn't listen to a word I said. <laughs> I love it. Oh fuck. Okay, we gotta be a little more careful. I thought it was going to be like, um, I don't know, like Final Fantasy VII Remake. Not the best example, but you know, whenever you go on a small, thin ledge like this, you know, you kind of like tiptoe across it automatically. I thought it was going to be something like that, but nope. Oh, speaking of Final Fantasy VII Remake, uh, Chocobo, I know you got a PS5 relatively recently. Have you played the, uh, the DLC for... Final Fantasy 7 Remake yet? I just finished it up finally, two, I don't know, a few days ago? Something along those lines? I'm very confused about the, the ending, but I mean, not yet. It's fun, it's relatively short, it's only two chapters long. The, uh, the mechanics that they did with, um, Cloud, or not with Cloud, I'm sorry, with, with Yuffie, who you play as in that one, are, are interesting. They, they expanded the, the combat mechanics a fair bit. Like, it's a lot of fun, honestly. Go back to the fountain in the main courtyard. I want to show you something. Okay. So you mean the one on the other side over here, right? Oh, shit. No, not that. Uh, go away. I didn't even realize we got the thing that slows down time. Okay. Fountain. It's a fish. I see that. <laughs> Hold circle. On the inside or on the outside of it like this? Should I save first? <laughs> Hold on. I'm going to save. Oh, wait. There's no save and quit. Okay. We'll just have to rely on autosave. How long do we have to hold circle for? Or do we actually need to be in it? Hold circle and move around. Okay. Hey, Noodle. Thank you so much for five more bits. Love. Appreciate it. You can duck behind low walls. Oh, okay. That's all. Okay. <laughs> I thought there was going to be like a glitch or the statue was going to suddenly like start moving or something like that. I didn't realize. <laughs> okay. That's a neat mechanic, though. It's nice to know. But, uh, yeah. I was waiting for, like, like I said, like a glitch for us to just fall through the world or something crazy. <laughs> it's a little weird that, uh, like, you would expect these things. The, the little blue auras would appear or something like that. 
since it has a, a circle action that you can do. A glitch for something later on that skips the worst level in the game. That's tempting. I mean, you can always go back and replay the levels, right? So we'll probably try the glitch just for the hell of it. And then uh, go back and complete the level because I actually want to <laughs> play all of them. So I do remember watching a speedrun at one point, and uh, but the only part I really remember of it is the, the ending, or near the ending, whenever they were going up, or the, uh, or going, not up, down, down a bunch of lines, and then climbing up some poles, and the weird way the game, like, has you, oh shit, we're dead. The, <laughs> the weird way the game, like, has you grabbing onto them and whatnot, they were showing how sometimes you'll just basically be floating in air, like you won't actually be grabbing anything. And I think they did something else with it, but I honestly don't remember. Memory bad. It's the World 4 race. Dude, I don't remember, to be honest. Like, like I said, it's probably been 15 years or something like that. Shortly after the game out is the last time I actually played through it. I played up to this level, but didn't actually play this level a couple months ago, but that's like it. Races in this game suck. I can imagine, honestly, a problem with a lot of old games, I feel like, you know, they tried to do too much, and then a lot of the, the things just didn't end up being very good. Like, uh, Jack and Daxter, for instance, love the first game, but the, the vehicle mechanics in that aren't fantastic. I think that's safe to say. A World 4 introduces ice patches and shit on top. Nice! <laughs> <laughs> they were fun, don't get me wrong, but the the way you controlled the the actual um vehicles wasn't wasn't the best. Like it wasn't the worst either. It's not as bad as uh what is it? Crash Crash 1, Crash 2. I don't remember which one, but whenever you're riding around on the the animals in that game was pretty rough, man. I mean, a lot of people really like the Crash games too, but I I can't get that into them. So, sorry if I'm offending anyone with my Crash hate, but yeah, it's <laughs> it's not for me. It's like a gang shit. <laughs> oh. Let me play craps in your chat. What? <laughs> Oh, I don't have the ability for crafts, man. Now, the I do, I've mentioned it before, but I want to make my own bot at some point so I can add more more games and stuff like that. So right now I'm just using the Streamlabs one, obviously. And I have basically everything that there is in the Streamlabs bot enabled. But yeah, actually used to be a crap stealer. Wow. I've never played before, honestly. Where are we going? We're going over there, so I guess we just have to... Oh shit, yeah, duh, we can circle up against this wall. I'm an idiot. I'm really good at paying attention, in case you haven't noticed. <laughs> I actually don't have Tabletop Simulator. I don't... I don't think. My Steam library is ridiculous from years of Humble Bundles, and I used to have an addiction to Steam sales. <laughs> so, there's a possibility I own it and just forgot that I picked it up, but... Poor King's Casino and Slots, which is free on Steam. I do like free. Now, growing up, we played a lot of, as a family, we played a lot of uh, Texas Hold'em and uh, Dice. I don't remember the actual name of the game. We just called it Dice, but there is an actual name for it. We're going from here. Probably right there. The very obvious path in front of me. I'm assuming that's the way we're going. Yahtzee, yeah, we played Yahtzee too in a handful of board games. Um, it was with my, my step-grandparents. They were particularly partial to Sorry for some reason. Like they that was that was the game, the board game to play there. Like every once in a while we would do um you know Monopoly and and uh the game of life, stuff like that. But Sorry, Dice and Texas Hold'em, those were the three that we played all the time. Oh, and Rook. Played a lot of Rook too, actually. Though I completely forget how to play Rook. They like Sorry cuz you were a mistake. Probably. <laughs> 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 I 
I mean, they were step grandparents, but I mean, fair. I can't even argue, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh. Yes, coin magnet, dude. That's what I want. I hate when games like uh, Spyro, for instance, love Spyro, but whenever you run out of health, you actually have to like touch every gem to pick it up because your little, whatchamacallit, your little firefly dude is the one that actually runs around and uh, collects everything for you. So as soon as like that dies and you're on your last hit before you die, you actually have to touch every single gem to pick it up. And that, I hate that. I hate that so much. It kills me. Yeah, the dragonfly, whatever it is. I, I can't remember. I'm pretty sure it has a name, doesn't it? But uh, yeah. Rygar, the legendary adventure. Is that in any way related to the Rygar game on the original Nintendo? Sparks, thank you. Yeah, 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 that was his name. Because I remember the Rygar game on the Nintendo. Rygar the Legendary Adventure, released in Japan as uh, an action adventure game for the PS2. It's based on the original Ry Rygar released for arcade and home consoles. I remember, like, when I was a kid, I played that uh, Nintendo one so many times, but I never got far in it at all. <laughs> like, I was terrible at it, but for some reason, I actually really enjoyed the game. Absolutely terrible. Was the Dark Souls a PS2, but goddamn, was it cool? Yeah, I mean, my plan is is to collect and play every PS2 game eventually. Um, but I'll keep my eyes out for that one to see if it pops up for a good price at one of my local game shops or on eBay or anything like that. And uh, I'll try and get it a little bit sooner. If I see it. I didn't even realize they made a reboot of Rygar on PS2. Like I said, I really liked the original one, so... Even though I sucked at it. So I would love to play the reboot. Was their intention to turn it into like a franchise or something like that? But obviously with it with it failing, they just didn't get the chance to. You believe so? Breath of Fire Dragon Quarter was a nightmare. I don't think I've ever heard of that one either. The <laughs> one of the reasons why I kind of regret starting my my complete console collection goals with the PS2 is because there's just so damn uh, anyways <laughs> there's just so many freaking games on the PS2 like it's it's ridiculous man it's like nearly 1800 I don't remember hey thank you so much for the follow to move I appreciate that man um I don't remember exactly how many there are, but there's a, a ton, nearly 1,800. But the PS2 is like my favorite console. It's the one I, I grew up with, you know? And uh, I have the most nostalgia for. So I, I yeah. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't the smartest move, but damn it, I decided to start with it and I'm sticking with it. Rygar is worth emulation just to play. I'm not huge on emulates because they're not quote unquote legal. The emulators are legal. It's the acquisition of the uh, files to play that aren't technically legal. I think emulation itself is an amazing thing. Uh, it preserves a lot of old game consoles and things that otherwise we would just be without. Um, I mean, not technically without because you can still get your hands on a lot of old hardware. But sooner or later, all that old, old hardware is going to die. So at that point, your only real options are clone consoles using modern parts, which is possible, but depending on the chips that you need can be pretty complicated. Like uh, the original Nintendo, for instance, there's a couple clone things out there that you can... Uh, clone clone plans out there that you can build from scratch yourself using all off-the-shelf parts but the recreation of the ppu and sound chip aren't 100 percent perfect so there's a couple games that just have issues um so your only real option is to find like a, a nintendo that's otherwise broken or something rip the chips out of that and uh and put them in your in your your homemade clone 
so anyways this is all a long roundabout way of saying i'm actually a pretty big fan of emulation but i would i would uh i would argue that yeah you should probably get games you know the legal way oh shit nope no 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 Are we trying to destroy all the treasure chests or protect them? <laughs> I, I wasn't paying any attention at all to what he was saying. I was just I was just happy going around in circles shooting my 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 gun gun here. Both, okay. So why <laughs> why exactly do we not want the crabs to take the treasure chest? Oh, wait, if the crabs pick them up, do the treasure chests break instantly? No. Okay. You don't think it worked? What, are you trying to give chocobo? Do you have a... Or trying to give room? Do you have enough, or... No, it's definitely... It's exclamation mark give, and then their name. I think you just can't do the at sign. I think. Because I remember... I remember uh, Nate has had problems with giving people points before, and I think the the at sign is what we decided was messing it up. Congratulations, you did it! Yeah, see, like that worked whenever Tomb Wolf just did it. So I think I think it's the at sign. I need to look back at messages. I know I missed one in here somewhere. You own the license, you can stream it even, just have to prove you own it. Yeah, there's a neat rental, like, game rental service. I don't know if they're still running or not, but it was, like, retro games. Um, their argument was that they owned a certain number of physical copies of every game. So what they would do is they would let you play them on emulator in their site or whatever, but, like, say they owned five copies of Super Mario Bros. 3, then only five people would be allowed to play that game at any given time. And uh, their argument was that they were just loaning out that copy digitally to people, so it was okay. I don't know how well that would hold up in court, or if it is still running or has been shut down or anything like that. But it, it was a thing, for a little while, at least. Been streaming Ratchet and Clank. Oh, man, I want to play more Ratchet and Clank one of these days myself. It's been a long time. I love Ratchet and Clank. I, I enjoy both modern and old school, but I have a lot of nostalgia for old school games, so. So many fun PS2 games. There really are. There's a lot of bad PS2 games, too, which I've come to realize from, you know, playing them <laughs> and so many sports games so many sports games man listen raleigh wipe up my family and steal what's mine you better expect company as somebody that's not a fan of sports games that's rough for me it really is obviously we should have snuffed you out as well so without further ado Floating to gargantuan size and squashing you like the <laughs> insignificant bug that you are. Bring it on. First boss fight, man. I don't remember how the boss fights work at all. I'm assuming we're just running away until something happens. No. Are we trying to hit him? No. <laughs> no, we're not. That didn't work either. Uh. Hold on. I'm assuming, like, once he... There we go. I was going to say, once he loses his gargantuan size, as he says... I'm assuming we just want to hit him then. Oh, no. Okay, 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 okay. That changes things a little bit. 
Got to go pick up your food. Like I said, if you're interested later, I'll hop in Discord and stream Rygar in there for you. Uh, maybe one of these days. Wednesday night. Well, I say that. Wednesday nights are my D&D &D night. So I'll actually be playing D&D &D tonight with the guys. Um, and then I stream every other night of the week except for Monday. <laughs> so I, I have very little time to do anything these days, sadly. But uh, one of these days. One of these days, man. Or, I mean, I know you mentioned that you stream, so if you stream it on your own channel or anything like that, maybe I'll check it out there, but... Tuesday is your D&D &D night? Hell yeah. Fuck! I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> oh, the platform dropped. I should have known it was gonna drop. Yeah, we have way too many D&D &D games going on right now, to be honest with you. We have, uh, my campaign that I'm, I'm doing, Homebrew. And then, uh... We have... Uh... Nate, help me out here. I forget. What's the name of it? The the other one. Spelljammer. Whatever the adventure that came with Spelljammer is. And then we have another homebrew campaign that is going to be a continuation from our Strix Haven campaign. And then we have a buddy of mine um, has a homebrew game based around Disney um, that, we're, <laughs> that we're also playing through. <laughs> like, it's, <laughs> it's a lot. <laughs> It's a it's a lot of fun, don't get me wrong, but but yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> you want to run another campaign, but a lot of people don't like your style. One of these days you'll have to tell me more cuz I'm very interested in what you mean by that, but I don't want to keep you from your food either. So you have a base story laid out and you and you'll plan and count. Wait, how's that? I mean, I don't think having encounters pre-planned is necessarily a bad thing. I know that's how our uh, our, our Disney-style campaign is very much based around the same sort of thing. Be completely bullshit what they do and where they... I don't know. That just sounds like D&D &D to me, but... <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. That doesn't sound all that bad. <laughs> Honestly, it sounds like fun to me, but you know, whatever, to each their own. One of these days, I want to try out a uh, virtual tabletop for for D and D. Like, uh, I've been hearing a lot of reviews on Foundry lately, Foundry virtual tabletop, and I think that's the one that I want to try out first. But it is like fifty bucks, so I'm kind of. I'm a little hesitant because of that. I don't want to end up blowing a bunch of money on it and then it not being good. No, he was small, dude. They just went to a nondescript planet. <laughs> yeah, my, uh, my personal campaign is based off of but not strictly i suck at this game um inspired by i guess is the best way to put it lord of the rings the the world is completely different from lord of the rings but uh it's it's in some ways based off of lord of the rings because i just i love that that franchise psycho welcome back man okay I gotta focus just a little bit because obviously I can't beat this boss <laughs> without without some level of focus. We've died, what, four or five times now? Futuristic angels and demons? What? <laughs> that sounds like a ton of fun, man. I, I just like the idea of that, of futuristic angels and demons and shit like that. Sounds like a great time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it, unless somebody has something else that they're really wanting to run tonight, Nate, it's, uh, it's Telus tonight. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. Oh, God. <laughs> Bro. Why am I so bad? Oh my god. I'm so angry. I don't know why I'm struggling with this. This should not be that difficult. I beat this game when I was like 12, bro. How am I, how am I struggling now? Wait, your player characters are as follows. A Super Saiyan. 
I got a... It went off screen. Uh, where's that message? Iron Man mixed with Thor and Hulk and Doctor Strange, Jack, a wild restaurant gunslinger, a descendant dragon rider of Dracula, Lust Demon, and I don't even know what that last one is. What the hell? <laughs> that sounds like a new level of chaotic. Why am I an idiot? Borderlands 3. I... I'm sorry, Psycho. I actually own Borderlands 3, but I haven't played it. <laughs> it's been on my list of things to do forever, basically. I got it from, uh, I think, on a Humble Bundle. If you're a PC gamer, by the way, Humble Bundle is the way to go, guys, in case you're, you don't already know somehow. Humble Bundle is amazing. I forget how much it is for the, the top tier. I'm grandfathered in because I've had it for so long. Um, but it's not that expensive and you get a number of games every month. One or two of which are usually AAA and then the rest are like smaller indie games or whatever. You're going to make them cry. I love it. Okay, is this the, the spinny, spinny one? Okay. Let's go, dude. It's about time. <laughs> that should not have taken that long. Should not have been that hard. Uh. Mesa City is so well guarded, a snake couldn't slither in without setting off alarms. <laughs> Guarantee you I find my way Flowing in there, Mr. Frog. The devious raccoonus held detailed instructions on how to perform my ancestor Ryoichi Cooper's ninja spire jump. A technique he developed while sneaking into the thickly fortified castles of feudal Japan. Finding a way off Raleigh's boat got a little tricky with the untimely arrival of Inspector Fox. Who, failing to find me, busted Raleigh and his crew. Hot chick with guns, bust amphibious yuck with the storm machine out of commission. Boats found their way back well, onto the ocean, and the mystery okay. of the Welsh Triangle faded from memory. Bro, that My just sounds and mean to me. around <laughs> England for a while, enjoying the pleasant weather, and then headed back home, excited for our next heist. I took the liberty of pinning your mission map up on the wall. You can use it to warp directly to any levels you've already visited. Thank you kindly for that there, uh, Mr. Turtle, sir, who has a name, but I'm terrible with names. I'm just remembering things in general. Anyways, guys, it is 845, and the ad manager is yelling at me, telling me that it's time to run an ad. Uh, so I think we're going to go ahead and call it there for the night. Uh, today is Wednesday, so that means tomorrow's Thursday. Thursday, we'll be back with whatever random 2S 2SP PS2 game the uh, RNG gods choose. And then Friday is RimWorld. So I hope to see you guys for one of those two streams, if you're into either one of those. And, uh, yeah, next Wednesday we'll be back with more Sly Cooper until it's finished up. Uh, but thanks again, guys, for coming and hanging out with me for a little bit. I do appreciate it. Uh, and, yeah, have a good night. And as always, be kind to each other. Bye, y'all. Always happy to unlock more goodies. Uh, kind of sucks that we can't pass right there, but I guess it doesn't really matter. There's a lot of red dots farther down the map anyways that we have yet to discover.